alpha plus i beta is this is tan h okay tan hx is sin hx upon cos hx so we can write this as sin hx plus i pi by 4 upon cos h hyperbolic cos and cos h x plus i pi by 4 then so after this what we are doing here is we will multiply this with the conjugate of this denominator so that means our ultimate aim is to use this formula means you need to use some of the, this formula and then we can simplify it so I am going to multiply this with the conjugate of the denominator so that is cos of h x minus i pi by 4 to get the conjugate you need to change the sign of i so cos h x minus i pi by 4 divided by cos of h x minus pi by 4 multiply the numerator and denominator with the conjugate of denominator ok so now this is something sin a cos b formula 2 sin a cos b formula we can use so what we are doing I am multiplying 1 2 also here so we are multiplying with 2 numerator and denominator is multiplied with a 2 also ok then then here so 2 sin a cos b that formula 2 sin a cos b from here see 2 sin hx cos hx formula we have 2 sin hx cos hy is sin hx plus y plus sin hx minus y means you need to add the angles there sin hx plus y and sin hx minus y so that we will use 2 sin hx cos hy is sin h x plus y means this angle plus this angle so that is x plus i pi by 4 plus x minus i pi by 4 so this is 2 sin h sin x plus sin h x plus y plus sin h x minus y so that is x plus i pi by 4 minus x minus i pi by 4 ok so that is that uh, using that formula you will get this numerator like this and to get the denominator also we do the same thing this is 2 cos hx cos hy form 2 cos hx cos hy is this is 2 cos hx cos hy see 2 cos hx cos hy is cos h x plus y plus cos h x minus y ok so we will be using that formula here so that is cos h x plus y that means x plus i pi by 4 plus x minus i pi by 4 plus cos h x minus oh sorry x plus i pi by 4 minus x minus i pi by 4 so just use that formula then here you are getting now when you see you can cancel some terms there so here we can plus i by 4 i pi by 4 minus i pi by 4 similarly here when you open the bracket x minus x this will get cancelled ok and here again i pi by 4 i pi by 4 here also x and minus x so the, the, just see what are the terms remaining there so that is sin h x plus x will come so that is 2x plus here sin h i pi by 4 minus minus i pi by 4 so we are getting there sin h i pi by 4 minus minus i pi by 4 we are getting but minus minus is plus i pi by 4 so i pi by 4 plus i pi by 4 will be 2 times i pi by 4 ok so 2 and 4 cancel pi by 2 you will get or here in short you will get sin h i pi by 2 ok 
simplifying that all then divided by here also in the denominator cos h here x plus x is 2x plus here cos h i pi by 4 minus minus plus will come so cos 2 pi i pi by 4 and that also you will get like this that is cos h i pi by 2 now this is equal to now we have this is sin h i x 4 okay sin h i x is given by or sin h i theta this is given by sin h i theta equal to i sin x and similarly cos h i theta is given by this is no sorry cos i x cos i x is given by cos h x so similarly tan tan i x is i tan h x i think already we i have given this so now here this is sin h 2 x is there so sin h 2 x plus sin h i pi by 2 okay sin h i pi by 2 we will write as i sin pi by 2 see sin h i theta i theta sorry theta here So sin i theta sin h i theta is i sin theta. So here sin h i pi by 2 will be i sin pi by 2 divided by this is cos h 2x plus cos h i pi by 2. So here it will be cos h i pi by 2 means it will be cos i pi by 2. Na? So that is anyway that is going to be 0 only because cos h i pi by 2 cos h i pi by 2 is equal to cos pi by 2 